Well, here in Grand Forks, British Columbia, the annual Canada Rockfest has returned after a two-year hiatus. And with it, owner and founder Chuck Verbioff has revitalized his hometown. Born and raised here. And we bought our festival property about five years ago. Thought I was crazy buying it, and now it's turned into a bit of a gold mine. From the island. From the island. <laughs> this is your first time at the Rockfest? It is. And uh, initial thoughts so far? Um, it's awesome so far. I'm really excited. I've seen Our Lady Peace before, and they're one of the best shows I've been to, so I'm really excited. Have you been to this festival before? Never. No. no. We're in Langley. We came oh. from Langley. Hey. Hey. We were all so excited that it was back on. I bought my tickets the first day they went on sale. The first day. <laughs> A ton of traffic, but it was worth it. You're going to rock it up. We're going to turn it loud. It's going to be awesome. Very first year with this band, he had us on stage. We didn't open. We were second in the lineup, gave us some credibility, and I think we came out and kicked ass. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we love a great part of the country, which is a great festival, and it poured last time, and we're happy that it's not pouring this today. As with most festivals, it's not just about the bands and the performers, but the people behind the scenes. You know what, Chuck gives me free reign. I look after all the acts back here. I just make sure everybody's comfortable and everybody's happy. But uh, it's been good, it's been fun, it's a lot of fun. Knock, knock. Come on in, let me turn some lights on. Well, this is uh, a little home away from home for some of these guys. Make up mirrors, you know, couch, you know, fireplace, they got a fireplace. You know, there's a bar fridge, the, uh, the, it's got a stand up shower in the, in the bathroom there. This is all the comforts of home. I can actually probably, I should be renting these out for people instead of the motels. We're uh, taking care of the video screens on the stage. So we're putting content up, I'm mixing some live cameras, yeah. Vendors from around the Kootenai Boundary region set up around the site, offering everything from food and drink to clothing, jewelry and souvenirs. We sell the best chicken Caesar wrap in the world. He's serving one up right now. And uh, my husband's been making that dressing since 1984. <laughs> Formerly known as Canafest, Canada Rockfest is now one of the biggest annual events in Grand Forks. Concert attendees bring revenue to the town, and the festival has helped put Grand Forks on the map and bring employment to the town's residents. The Grand Forks, British Columbia, Canada, make some noise for Rob tonight. Get sure. First couple of years, we were all volunteers. Everybody here was a volunteer. But a lot of the guys that are helping with building the stage and everything were volunteers, helping clean. And he says, he says, no, I can't do that. He says, no, you're not volunteer. He says, I'm paying you. It, it's been an awesome weekend. It's been better than I expected for crowds. The festival, the venue, the new venue has been absolutely incredible. Here we are now, we have one of the hottest bands in the country coming up and they're right behind me and it's been a total success and we're looking forward to a killer show in 2023. You know these guys. Thanks man, you guys did a hell of a job. Thank you. I'll see you in a bit. Canada Rockfest returns in 2023. Dean Atwell, Joy Television.